Caitlin Clark's on-court brilliance just got overshadowed by some shocking sideline drama. The Indiana Fever's rookie sensation found herself at the center of a heated clash between coaches that's got the WNBA buzzing. What exactly went down and why is everyone talking about it? Excited to watch Caitlin Clark. That continues even after Ooh. the Olympic break. Uh, she was off for uh, right at a month after not playing and participating for Team USA. The atmosphere was electric as the Indiana Fever faced off against the Seattle Storm. Fans packed the arena, eyes glued to the court as Clark put on a show. The rookie phenom lived up to the hype, dropping 23 points, dishing out 9 assists, and grabbing 5 rebounds. It was the kind of performance that's quickly becoming her trademark. Before we dive into the sideline drama, let's rewind and look at the phenomenon that is Caitlin Clark. Her rise to WNBA stardom didn't happen overnight. Clark's journey from college sensation to professional professional powerhouse has been nothing short of remarkable. At the University of Iowa, Clark dominated the court, setting records and capturing the nation's attention. Her college career was a highlight reel of jaw-dropping performances and clutch moments. When draft day came, there was no doubt Caitlin Clark was the number one pick headed to the Indiana Fever. Uh, she returned on August 17th, or 16th, excuse me, uh, on ION. They had over a million viewers across the country. Now, Clark's impact on the WNBA has been immediate and profound. She's not just playing the game, she's changing it. The league has seen a surge in popularity, and Clark is at the center of it all. Attendance numbers are through the roof, with a 14% year-over-year increase in the first week of the season alone. Fans are packing arenas to catch a glimpse of the rookie phenom in action. But it's not just about filling seats. Clark's presence on the court is electrifying. Her playing style is a perfect blend of skill, creativity, and pure basketball instinct. She's got a flair for the dramatic making passes that seem impossible and sinking shots from distances that make defenders shake their heads in disbelief. What sets Clark apart isn't just her talent, it's her attitude. She plays with a confidence and swagger that's rare for a rookie. Clark isn't afraid to take charge, to be the leader her team needs. This boldness has transformed the Indiana Fever from underdogs to contenders almost overnight. The numbers don't lie. Clark's impact is written all over the stat sheets. She's already broken the WNBA rookie assist record, surpassing the mark set by Ticha Panichiro. Game after game, Clark is putting up numbers that veterans dream of, and she's doing it with a smile on her face. But it's not all smooth sailing. Clark's rise has ruffled some feathers in the league. Her bold style and outspoken nature have drawn criticism from some quarters. Veterans and established stars are finding themselves challenged by this newcomer who seems to have no fear. This tension came to a head during that fateful game against the Seattle Storm. As the clock ticked down and tempers flared, Clark made a move that set social media ablaze. In a moment of pure Clark confidence, she turned to the Storm players and mouthed the word stop crying, right there on the jumbotron for everyone to see. It was a moment that encapsulated everything about Caitlin Clark. The skill, the swagger, the fearlessness. But it also highlighted the growing pains the league is experiencing as it adapts to this new star. Clark isn't just playing by the rules, she's rewriting them. The tension on the sidelines erupted in the final minutes of the game. With the Indiana Fever comfortably ahead, Coach Christie sides kept her starters, including Caitlin Clark, on the court. This decision didn't sit well with Seattle Storm coach Noel Quinn. As the clock ticked down, Quinn's frustration boiled over. She approached sides, gesturing wildly and raising her voice. The exchange quickly escalated from a typical coaching disagreement into something much more heated. Fans in the arena and viewers at home watched in shock as the two coaches went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, their argument overshadowing the game's final moments. At the heart of the confrontation was a clash of coaching philosophies. Quinn felt that with the game's outcome decided, Sides should have pulled her starters. It's an unwritten rule in basketball to give bench players some court time when victory is assured. But Sides had other ideas. She wanted her young team, led by rookie sensation Clark, to gain as much experience as possible. Quinn's reaction went beyond a simple disagreement. Witnesses described her behavior as aggressive and confrontational. She pointed fingers, raised her voice, and invaded Sides' personal space. It was a display of emotion rarely seen from coaches at this level, especially in the final moments of a game. The basketball world was quick to react. Social media lit up with comments about Quinn's behavior, with many observers calling it petty and disgraceful the consensus was clear Quinn had crossed a line. Her actions were seen as a lack of sportsmanship, a far cry from the professional demeanor expected of WNBA coaches. This incident highlighted a double standard in sportsmanship expectations within the league. Male coaches in similar situations might be praised for their passion or competitive fire. But for Quinn, a female coach in a women's league, the reaction was far more critical. People questioned her professionalism and ability to control her emotions under pressure. Quinn's post-game comments only added fuel to the fire. 
she attempted to downplay the incident, referring to it as a lively discussion about sportsmanship. This characterization seemed at odds with what viewers had witnessed. It came across as an attempt to minimize her actions rather than take responsibility for them. The confrontation between Quinn and Sides wasn't just about one game or one coaching decision. It reflected deeper tensions within the WNBA. The league is in a period of transition with new stars like Caitlin Clark challenging the established order. Quinn's reaction could be seen as a manifestation of the growing pains associated with this change. The fact that Clark was on the court in the last few minutes made Quinn very angry. It's clear that the rookie has changed the game and the league as a whole. The way she plays and how popular she is getting have put pressure on both new and experienced coaches. Quinn's temper tantrum may have had as much to do with this changing dynamic as it did with the specifics of the game. The event also made people wonder how the WNBA handles disagreements between coaches. In some men's leagues, fights on the sidelines happen more often than in the WNBA. The WNBA has always been proud of its more professional atmosphere. This image was shattered by Quinn's actions, which made many people wonder what the league would do. The WNBA was shocked by the fight between coaches Christy Sides and Noel Quinn. As word of the fight on the sidelines spread, both fans and the media tried to figure out what had happened. There were a lot of reactions on social media, ranging from shock to outrage to disbelief. A lot of people who saw what happened live replied on Twitter and Instagram with their thoughts. Most of them were upset with Quinn's behavior. Analysts and commentators for basketball and other sports quickly picked up on the story and broke it down in detail. They talked about the unwritten rules of basketball sportsmanship and questioned Quinn's professionalism. The event took over sports talk shows and podcasts, making it hard to talk about the game or Caitlin Clark's great performance. Once the fight was over, Quinn tried to play down how bad it was. After the game, she talked about the heated argument as a lively discussion about gamesmanship. People who had seen what happened were confused by this description because it didn't match the anger and intensity that people had seen from the sidelines. Quinn's attempt to downplay the situation made people argue more about who is responsible and who is in charge in the league. Because of the fight between Quinn and Sides, it became clear that the WNBA is still getting used to the presence of a new group of stars led by Caitlin Clark. Clark has had an undeniable effect on the league. She has brought more attention to women's basketball, more people to games, and a new level of excitement. But this fast change has also made the league tense as experienced players and coaches try to adjust to new rules and expectations. Jewel Lloyd, a star player for the Storm, talked about this tension after the game. When asked about Caitlin Clark's performance, Lloyd avoided talking about it and instead talked about the new players on her own team. The way they responded hinted at the jealousy and rivalry that the event had brought to the surface. Clark's sudden popularity and the attention she's gotten have clearly made some people in the league angry. People are still talking about what happened when it comes to competition and sportsmanship in the WNBA. Some people said that Quinn's extreme reaction was a normal response to the huge amount of pressure coaches are under. Others saw it as a sign of bigger problems in the league like a culture that might be having a hard time adjusting to new stars and changing fan expectations. The WNBA was was at a crossroads after everything was over. The league has always been proud of its professionalism and good sportsmanship, which didn't seem to fit with the fight on the sidelines. Now, officials had to deal with the situation while still protecting the league's reputation and honor. Fans and experts alike talked about possible fines or suspensions and wondered how the WNBA would strike a balance between discipline and the need to move on. The Clark Quinn incident also made people think about how the media shapes stories about women's sports. Some critics pointed out that similar fights in men's leagues are often looked at less closely or are even praised as displays of competitive fire. A lot of attention was paid to this incident, which showed how women's sports are often judged differently. This led to discussions about gender bias in sports coverage. The event taught Caitlin Clark a lot about how to handle problems in professional sports. Even though she wasn't directly involved in the fight on the sidelines, her presence on the court and the way she played were what made things tense. How Clark handles this early challenge in her career could affect her future in the league and how she gets along with coaches and players who are already well known. The Caitlin Clark effect is changing the WNBA in ways that not many people thought possible. When she joined the league, it sent shockwaves through it, challenging long-held norms and pushing the limits of what's possible in women's basketball. Clark has an effect that goes far beyond her impressive stats. She's starting a cultural revolution that's changing what the WNBA is all about. Clark's style of play on the court is very different from the norm. People are on their feet and defenders are scrambling because of how sure she is that she can make shots from what seems like impossible distances. However, Clark's style is doing more than just entertaining. It's making teams rethink how they defend and pushing other players to improve their skills. The new player's fearlessness rubs off on her teammates and young fans, who are inspired to dream bigger and play bolder. Clark has just as much of an impact off the court. Since her first game, the WNBA has become much more popular, and attendance has gone through the roof. In fact, the league said that attendance went up by 14% in the first week of the season alone. Clark's games are becoming must-see events that bring in new fans and get old fans excited about the team again. This increased visibility is leading to more media coverage and sponsorship opportunities, 
which raises the profile of the whole league. There have been some hard times during Clark's rise though. Her quick rise to fame has caused tension in the league as coaches and players who have been there for a while try to adjust to the new rules. An argument between coaches Quinn and Sides is one sign that the WNBA is still getting used to its new structure. Clark's sudden popularity may make some veterans feel threatened, while others are taking the chance to improve their own games in response to the rookies' challenge. It's a big deal for the WNBA that the old guard and the new wave of talent are going up against each other. The league has to decide how to honor its history and traditions while also looking forward to the exciting new opportunities that Clark and her generation bring. Even though it's tricky, this dance could take women's basketball to a whole new level. There is no doubt that Clark's arrival had positive effects. She not only brings more people to the games and gets media attention, but she also motivates a new group of young athletes. Many girls across the country are getting into basketball to be like Caitlin Clark. The sudden interest in basketball among young people could have long-lasting effects on the next generation of women who play the sport. A lot of people have new ideas about women's sports because of Clark's success. Girls' basketball can be just as exciting and popular as boys' basketball, as shown by her highlight reel plays and games that broke records. This new way of thinking about sports could bring in more money, pay players better, and give women more chances to play at all levels. Clark could make a big difference in the WNBA and girls' sports in general in the years to come. In the next few years, the WNBA could become as popular as, or even more popular than, other professional sports leagues if she keeps up her current pace. The league could get better TV deals, have bigger teams, or even add new teams if more people know about it. The fight between Clark and Quinn woke up the WNBA. It showed how the actions of a rookie can change the whole league. Not only is Caitlin Clark changing the way women play basketball, she's also challenging the culture of the sport itself. A new group of players is being inspired by her bold style and fearless attitude to dream big and play bigger. As things calm down, the WNBA is about to reach a turning point. How will it strike a balance between new ideas and old ones? Can it use the excitement Clark brings while still being the professional business it is known for? It's clear that women's sports are changing quickly, and Clark is at the front of the pack.